So I'm inside the curtain side right now. And I decided to take my load because my water, some of my straps were like really loose. I just got done doing a 34 reset at Gary, so that's why I'm checking them. And that's why the problem for were loose. Um, we'll say a little bit shifted, just a little bit. I don't think that was supposed to be like this, but luckily I have stuff up there. Um. This part is pretty good right here. But for some odd reason, I think this shifted back. It probably didn't, I don't remember. But I should probably look at my little camera photos to make sure. But I think this shifted back a little bit. And for the most part, everything else is pretty good. We do have a uh, their stack up here. This didn't shift, so that's perfectly fine. Shift. I sent in my load to camera photos. No one said anything, so I'm guessing I'm good. But if any of you guys out there know about this and see anything I could do better on, let you get on that. But um, this didn't shift for the most part. Um. But what it did do is come closer together, which is causing this right here. That's not good, that's not good. I hope it won't be a problem. And then this is just computer stuff. This didn't shift, I just tied that down from the bottom. I didn't want to throw a strap on top because you know, it's cardboard and stuff like that. But um, hopefully I should be good. <laughs> um, for the most part, I'm kind of worried about this, but it's kind of shifted closer together. I didn't shift back and forth. Same with up there. Well, except for that one piece that looked like this, it kind of shifted up, but we should be good for the most part. Um, I have about, 100 miles from my next fuel stop. And then I will be heading to Constantine. I should be there by 8. My ETA says 5 a.m. But um, they're not open at 5. So we're gonna, they open at 8. So we're going to get there at 8. For you guys, just checking in. I was supposed to record me backing into the the, the bay. Supposed to record me un um, pulling the curtains back and unstrapping and da 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 da. But my phone was like on six percent, so I couldn't do that. So with that being said, guys, <laughs> we just finished our load. That whole load from Rome, Georgia to um, here. I forgot what this place is called. But it's in Wisconsin. Um, it's about 981 miles, so that will be a good check. I'm not sure if I'm still getting paid the same rate as I did with flatbed. I know I don't get paid part pay, but as far as this per mile, I will have to ask my fleet manager. 
But from what I from what I heard, it should be the same. Anywho, um, still I'm at the constantly. I'm just waiting for my fleet manager to call me back because I um, should be on my way to the Marshfield terminal to get this body, my wind thing fixed. Um, they have to add the curtain side boxes. And when I was on my way here on the road, started going up and down, up and down. I pulled over, looked at my tires, my tires seemed fine. So something's going on. I'm sorry if I look so crusty. But something's going on, so I gotta get that checked out as well. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. When I was fine, trying to find the Consonne, my co-pilot, which is the, the PC right here, wasn't, um, it wasn't, lined up with my workflow so it couldn't tell me where I was going unless I put in the address so I was like okay I'm gonna go ahead and use trucker path and I put in the address for this company and truck path took me down the opposite side of the road and I had to turn around and in the process of turning around there's a cornfield on my left and there's houses on the right so I had to back into the road leading down to the houses and try to turn around into the corn cornfield and turn my butt around now there is this lovely man on a bike who decided to help me praise him and then a police officer came bless her too she looked like she was fed up with the shit so <laughs> sorry babe sorry sweetheart i'm so sorry it was embarrassing but it is what it is it's a learning experience it is a learning experience but i'm just sitting here waiting for the um sorry i got cut off real called me but Okay, um, I'm not getting a load. I'm just going to be driving there, which is fine. Um, but yeah, on my next load, I'll try to show you guys as much as I can. I don't know if this is going to be a separate video. Probably will be a video. So if you are watching, enjoy the ride. I do need to record more on the road, but I just, every time I go to Walmart, I figure they get a tripod. So, sorry. Fuel stop in Illinois, which is fine. This is the exhibit, and my truck is over there. And we're like, we're gonna have to back out this bitch, so that'll be interesting. But let's go ahead and get more right, so I'm backing, but I'm just gonna show you guys where I'm going.
on. I look crusty. Excuse how crusty I looked in this whole video. But I'm in bed. Anyways, I'm in Indiana right now. The load that you just seen, I already dropped that off. I already took care of that. And I'm picking up forklifts, guys. I'm picking up forklifts. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that from this point on, I will not be doing any more road footage at least for another month or two because I got in trouble. So now I'm on performance improvement program because I got caught with my phone in my hand. I don't even know why it was in my hand, but they showed me the video and I had the phone on the floor. I picked it up, did something and put it back down. It wasn't even in my mouth. So that was my problem. That was my fault. So just to make sure that I don't do anything else with my phone, um, recording footage will not be happening while I'm driving anymore. So that's fine. It's totally fine. I don't need those problems from real. Um, but I will be taking you guys still on my lows, taking you on the journey and things like that. So yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, I look like the Grinch when I do that. Um, yeah. So you guys see my terrible backing. Suck at it and i'm just chilling it's currently what's uh it's 8 17 p.m i don't have to get up until five actually six i don't have to leave until six really because my shipper is 30 minutes away um my next load is two stops i'm picking up forklifts like i told you and i'm dropping them off in tennessee and alabama and i'm currently in indiana right now so yeah this check is gonna be I'm, i want to say this week i would have at least two thousand miles on my for this week so that's pretty good um it's pretty good to me i'm gonna know rate of bills but i don't have any bills so <laughs> it's pretty good to me um yeah that's just about it let me let me know how's it going with you guys if you guys ever want to message me message me on instagram facebook some of you guys saw me on facebook so if you saw me on facebook just you know message me um don't get offended if i don't reply that's just me i just i do reply it just takes me a while but anyways guys <laughs> this is a journey but the marathon continues and i will catch you guys in the next video bye